What up amigos, welcome. My name is LBD and today we're jumping into some SP Tarkov. Um, last time, uh, you might have noticed that um, we actually forgot to hand in some tasks. So I'm not sure if we've done any dailies, but um, yeah, we've still got our BP Depot left over from last time. So let's just hand that right in. There we go, we get ourselves some bad work evidence. Um, we need a key for that one and we do not have any keys so we won't worry about that one uh, the bunker we can do on reserve but we're probably not going to do that just yet unless we get a daily that says to go to reserve but um speaking of dailies we can uh hand in a pack of screws we won't, we won't do that just yet until we get the um uh the aseptic bandage um not sure if that's the single use or the, the double use one but we'll have a look we'll keep an eye out for them and We'll see. Now, Skia has a daily as well, a USB adapter. I typically don't keep them because they're not worth much money, but if we do run into some, we can we can uh, pocket that. And Jaeger wants us to kill scabs in any location. That's quite easy. Gives us an M700 mag, which we cannot use because we don't have access to an M700. Lol. Ah, that's right. We also have, in our hideout, we have vents upgrading. So we'll install that one. Um, Vents 3, I think we've got to level up some stuff. No, just the generator. Um, the lavatory, were we crafting hoses? That might have been for the daily. I feel like it was corrugated hoses for the daily, and we forgot about that one. But that's fine. Water collector we can upgrade, so... Ha, oh, maybe that's what it was for. Uh, hoses for the water collector. There we go. Um, the med station we wanted to slew up, but I think... We ended up finding one from memory because we don't still have the task from therapist. No, we're up to Operation Aquarius. We must have found one. Um, so yeah, Workbench 2 I think is... No, that's Mechanic 2. Which one was it? Maybe it was Lavatory 2. It was waiting on the water collector. Yep, okay. <clears throat> so we do still need some more hoses and some screws. Um, again, we can keep an eye out for them. So, we have some stuff... Ooh, out of time again. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, we have some fuels, though. I'll take some fuels. We'll whack them straight in the generator. Whack one of them straight in the generator. Anyway. Um, yeah, need some stuff to upgrade that still. And... Yeah. Okay. So... Where do we want to go to this time? Well, actually, I, ha <clears throat> I have a plan. Excuse me. I have a plan. And that plan is as follows. Um, I'm going to take the Mosin out, and I'm going to take the MP5 out. Now, what I want to do... We are running out of room, so this is going to get a little bit tricky. But if we can... Um, we'll buy... No, it's not Prepper that sells it, it's Jaeger. The... VPO. And then... Her off. Um, oh, we can't do a linked search. Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, that was not the button I was trying to push. Link search, there we go. Now we want to buy rail mount. I thought there was only one on there, but apparently not. No, there is only one on there. What a waste of money. How dare you? Uh, link search on that bad boy. We buy ourselves one of those, and then we link search on that bad boy, and we buy ourselves an optic. Now, I do not like this optic in the slightest. I'm going to sell that little rail, because we did not need it. Um, and the other thing we need to do is buy some magazines. So, we buy two of those. 
Do we have any ammo? We do, we have many ammo. I won't use the AP ammo just yet because the Echo is quite capable. And at this early stage, we will just be uh, farming scavs. So, top that one up there. Back that one in there. We'll keep that in here so we don't lose it. Aha, that's right. The other thing I wanted to do was bring a Glock or a pistol. <clears throat> um, reason being is that if we do run into some trouble, uh, close range, for example, or if a player decides to bum rush us, uh, just having a bit of extra, you know, a faster firing weapon could be the difference uh, between life and death. Uh, I'll just quickly repair this one. Uh, but also, uh, not this one, we have stirrup as well. Killing three PMCs with pistols. So we might just make some progress on that as well, should the need arise and, and such. Um, yeah, that'll work. So, we go to woods. Now, first things first. Uh, we're going to take the side off. Because we do still need to get one more scav kill with iron sights. So we'll do that first if we can. Oh, I didn't know you could spawn here, actually. Wait. Okay, this isn't where I thought it was. This makes more sense. But still, it is awfully close to this um, spine area, which is where I thought it was. Um, lots of scabs do spawn around there, so... Spawning so close means that scabs may not spawn in while I'm here. But, um... We'll make it work. Just listening out for any movement. And I'm going to check over here. There's a little campsite over here. Sometimes we can get some iskers, and I think we do need to find some iskers for a later task. No food at all, unfortunately. A bit of a shame. Now there's also, as we've checked many times before, uh, loot spawns down here at the crash plane. So I'm going to come down here and check that. Juice, nothing amazing. Hmm, looks like that might be the lot, unfortunately. Surely there'd be something else here. But well, there's another bottle of juice. some oak flakes. I'm not going to take the oak flakes, they're pretty garbage. I'm not going to be desperate for energy anytime soon. Sugar, I'll definitely take it. And morphine, 100% as well. That's an excellent find. So, morphine could probably even go up here and be hotkeyed. I prefer not to use it, but if we do get into some trouble, it wouldn't go astray, so... So that's down at the, uh... What I call mash the med camp, which means there's probably players punching on the scabs down there. So I was planning on heading that way, but I might just have to be a smidge careful because yeah, having a bolt action means I um, can get myself in some pretty sticky situations. Uh, players get involved. Okay, 
those shots were over at the lumber mill. Okay, what I'm going to do, because line of sight's a little bit tricky here, I'm going to put the optic back on. Ooh. Now, we'll just have a look through our scope. I did see a scav walk through this mesh, that under that netting there, which is why I wanted to put the scope on, because I didn't have a clear line of sight through the iron sights. But, um, unfortunately... Oh, there he is. Okay. I probably won't get him without the scope. Ooh, is that shot at me? It was. That's a player. Okay. So I can tell he was a player because he had an armband on. Often the gear that they're wearing is a good tell <clears throat> a good tell as well as to whether they're a scav or a player. But not always. Scavs can wear PMC gear. Um, and sometimes players dress up like scavs as well for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, having the armband on, and again not every PMC does wear an armband. But it's just it's just a way to identify. So I probably should have been Is that behind me? I'm just gonna run. Was that the player? Is the player still up? It sounded like a scav, but I don't recognise the voice line, so it could be PMC voice lines. Good news is, if he's still alive, it probably means he killed that player. So I'm going to take some of the stuff off of his corpse. I'm going to try and not clog up my backpack too much. Oh, there you go. That's the bandage we need for our daily. So that's excellent. Keep some grenades. The ice cream, I can't remember if we still need, actually. Uh, wreck bats are pretty good as well. Quake maker, I think isn't too bad of an ammo. So I might actually take all that. I'll probably just sell it, but you know, good ammo is usually worth a bit of money, so... this player that he killed. There he is. Plonk. Hi mate. It's a pretty decent rig. I'd consider taking it, but I need to keep, as I said, I need to keep the backpack clear so that we can um, put our armor in it when we're having shots at, uh, at scavs. Now, I'm going to reload this bad boy. This one back here. 
Just because there will be more scabs in here. Potentially more players as well. You just got to be careful. Um... Okay. So that's, that's a scav. Where is he? Okay, this is getting weird. Yes! He's wearing a bloody helmet. I don't know if I actually killed him. I did. Jeez. Yeah, I nearly destroyed his helmet. I was actually a little bit worried for a second there, guys. I'm not gonna lie. FMJ's garbage. I don't want to worry about that. It's the same ammo type as this Echo, but it does nothing. Floor or not with fleece. Augmented is no good. Oh, what's that? Another morphine? Hmm. CMS is good. Syringe is handy as well. Ibuprofen won't go astray. Didn't actually come here to farm meds, but I won't turn them down. How much room does that take? Okay, so I can fit one more square in. I might have to start dropping some stuff. I forgot this room's quite heavy as well. So that might cause some issues down the line. Damn it, I stood too far away. Strike ciggies we need for a task. Might actually eat that soury as well. Sorry, soury. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced soury, but nobody says it different. Hmm. D fuels are good. Okay, now I've got too much stuff. I'm gonna check in this container as well, because meds do spawn at the back here. Looks like there's nothing there. That's the other bandage. Not the one we need. Just gonna run around to see if I hear anybody. some of this stuff. Another CMS. Get rid of the ice green, I think. And then that one. Rain always sounds like footsteps. It just sends my paranoia through the roof. I tell you what. Peas are great. Squash is great. I'm going to resist the urge to take... No, you know what? I'm going to take them over the ammo. Another thing about it, the peas probably weren't that important. I like peas because they're good for restoring energy, but they don't actually do a hell of a lot. Other than that. But that's fine. As I say, I like peas. I'm going to keep the peas until I find something else, like meldonin. I'm definitely going to take a meldonin. I'm actually going to even put that in my bot bot. Drink this pineapple juice. Oh. 
Ah, oh, Kavast, that's also quite good, but... No room, don't need it. Resist. Okay, so from here... We'll go back up to spine. Because there's every chance scatters are spawned in at spine now. So once we get out of this camp and into the bushes, probably shouldn't run, but I'm going to just because there's open open line of sight. We walk now that we're in amongst the bushes. Hold myself right here. Uh, this complicates things a bit. I'm gonna drop the drop the fleece. I'm gonna take the uh, scope off again. So we only need one more scav kill with iron sights. There's a bush over there that I think. Looked like a scav. I do normally like to put a suppressor on this gun as well. But at the same time, it's probably my least favourite bolt action sniper. Just because it literally has four round mags. Like four rounds in a magazine. Doesn't matter what gun you're using, it just doesn't seem like enough. If you could top load it, like you can the Mosin, where you can put one bullet in at a time through the top of the gun, hence the term top load, um, wouldn't be an issue. But um, yeah, in any given in engagement, you've got four rounds in a mag, and of course you're shooting slowly because it's bolt action. And then once you've fired those four shots, you've then got to change your mag. So you're faced with the problem, do you carry, you know, 50 mags with four bullets each in them, or do you do what I've done and bring just a small handful of mags and um, top them up and you change them out, but then that's, you know, you can't do that in the middle of a fight, so that's all the more difficult again. This is a very dangerous area to walk through because PMCs do patrol around here too. And of course there are just a multitude of scavs. And, uh, as you can tell it's very open and exposed. They can hide in the trees and take shots from, from the abyss. There's blood on that tree. So someone's been shot over there. hearing footsteps too, so someone is creeping around nearby. Which makes me real nervous. Maybe I wasn't... Ah! Oh my god! That scared the crap out of me! <laughs> uh, yep. That's what can happen. Anyway, we, um, did we get two scabs without armor on? No, the first one we were wearing our armor. That's a shame. But that's all right. He, uh, PS, 762 PSMO. Probably an SKS I think he was using. Okay, that was a bit of a bummer, but that's fine. You know, every death is a lesson. <laughs> we'll recover. We'll come back. Um, I'm actually a little bit disappointed we didn't get uh oh we had a Maldonan too bummer not found in raid 
you do need a melatonin for a later quest and um i've found it incredibly rare in the past so would have been nice to bring that out but anyway uh heal ourselves with the grizzly for the extra uh experience let's throw a backpack on now no 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 now bring the Mosin this time and um I suppose we'll do the pistol again see the Mosin you can top load so we just need to carry the ammo in our pocket and we're fine Um, bring some money, and uh, we might end up taking the car extract. So, woods. All right, this one's a winner. I can feel it. Pretty reasonable spawn. I'm gonna check this shack. The shack actually very often has good weapons, uh, good attachments, and good ammo. So, uh, PP ammo is no good. PP ammo, if it's the kind of BP ammo I think it is. Which probably not if it's only 8 rounds. No. Probably is good ammo, but like I said, 8 rounds. Not really worth it. MRE. I think that scope's worth a bit of money, and suppressors are usually worth a bit of money. Um, I think... Uh, I think the game's broken? Interesting. Very interesting. Um, I'm only going to take the one. I think I've seen a similar bug happen. Uh, I dropped my backpack in one playthrough I was doing, and my backpack duplicated, and then every time I returned to that map, it was there, again, with all of its contents. But I don't like exploiting games, so I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna take it. We'll take the one gun, that's fair. If, uh, if that's the same bug that was happening too, then the AK probably spawned. You know, two raids ago when I came on woods, and um, every time I've been on woods since, it's spawned a new one. So that's probably why there was three there. Probably shouldn't be running here. There are a lot of scabs around here, and again, very often players. That's not a scab, is it? No, it's a stain on the wall. There's a marked circle up here, which has a jacket, and sometimes some pretty good loot. So, I do want to loot that. I think I've gone past it, actually. Have I? Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe this is it up here. Oh, there it is. I see. I'm making a point of not running because I don't want to draw too much attention. No loot, but we'll have a look inside this jacket. Blue tape, nothing wrong with that. Okay. Probably a bit easy to do the removed armor. Thing with smaller armor, so we might actually find that a bit less tricky this time. I'm nervous that scale. Oh my god, where did that come from? There he is. That might be a PMC actually. A 
it's not. I don't know if I killed him. I didn't. Oh my god, I have no armor on, don't shoot me. Wait. I think that is a player. I think I got stuck in a reload animation then. So this other guy is also a player, I think. Don't know where he went though. Oh my goodness. Is he behind me? Get down you fool. There you go. Jesus. Alright. So this is why I don't like coming here because now I don't know where I was getting shot from. Pop a painkiller. But I'm probably just gonna run. This is dangerous. Because I don't know where I was getting shot from, I could literally get shot from any direction. Hopefully we're far enough away. Ooh, no we're not. I've got no stamina left. Jeez. That was pretty tricky there. There was uh, two players there that were fighting. Obviously we killed one of them. Um, but uh, the other one, he, he rotated really well and I lost sight of where he was. So, yeah, look, hindsight, I probably should have run a different direction, but it looked like I was getting shot at from where I'd come from, where the mark circle was. So I didn't want to run back in that way because if I got closer to him, obviously I'm an easier target, but then I didn't want to run the direction where we had seen him because I had a feeling he was still out there anyway. Um, which means that there wasn't really anywhere else to run. I could have run down the road and straight out to the open, which would have resulted exactly the same way that it went, but probably a bit quicker. So I just thought the direction we went, um, few trees, bit of cover, might have made it. Fortunately, we weren't lucky, but um, I think he was using a Mosin as well, which is just a shame. I think that was three of us using a Mosin. I think the guy I killed had a Mosin as well. Just with how things have progressed, I want to go back to customs. And, um, shouldn't need that many, I don't think. Maybe I will. Okay. No armor. And no. I don't think we've even got a. Oop. Hang on. What? We don't even have a helmet, do we? No. What a shame. So we'll go Prepper, because he sells that helmet and that. Backpack. Ah, uh, that's right. I've been keeping gunsmith stuff in here. Is that for a gunsmith? I suppose it is. Um.
Oh, we've got plenty of 7.62. Let's use that. Um, take the dovetail off. Hang on. Just hang on. Hold your horses. Okay. Take that one off. I should be able to find a bastion. I think Skier sells it. Maybe not this early on. No, he does. That'll go on there. Chuck some mags in. I'm gonna chuck this optic on there. And then... Looks like it can take a suppressor, but I don't know. Do I have a suppressor? Can I buy a suppressor? No suppressor though, that's a bit disappointing. It has had one, because it's got the, the muzzle thread. So if we go link search... Muzzle devices? No, I literally don't have access to any of them. Oh, well, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright, and we're ready to go. So, we'll go back into customs. And hopefully not die. Right. So, does this have a laser as well? It does not, it's just a flashlight, but that's fine. Now we're at old gas. Oh, I did not heal myself. This is something I do very often, and is always embarrassing, but means I have to waste most of my life back just trying to bloody heal myself again. Let's get out of the rain so we can hear ourselves think. Yep, classic beauty. Doesn't heal after a raid so we can get the extra experience. It gets to heal before going into the next raid. Classic fool. See what spawns here. Ooh, is that a power bank? It's a power bank. Beds will need for a key. It's a magazine. Not one we can use right now, but nonetheless. Yeah, there's nothing special about that. I actually never looted this shell. Probably because it looks like there's nothing spawning there. That would be why. That's quite near. Shots were over at New Gas, which is that structure just over the wall there. And we have a quick peek in the trunk of this car. There's a key that spawns in there. Oh dear. Well, is that guy shooting at me? Because the bullets. I 
paddle. I'm not gonna go that way. I don't like that at all. That was clearly a pain. Probably kill PMC with this gun I've got, but given how we've, uh, how we've gone in the last couple of raids, I'm not really prepared to risk it, to be honest. Okay, well that's an airdrop coming in. gonna loot in here, a couple of computers and jackets that we can loot, and um, by the time we've done that, that uh, airdrop will have landed and we'll go and loot that. There's quite a lot of activity out there actually. There's not normally that much gunfire this early on. Ergo and negative one recoil. This one does three ergo and negative two recoil. Pretty sure this gun has quite a bit of a recoil. I'm just gonna shut that in case there's someone out there. Um, so yeah, the extra recoil buff probably a bit better. Even though ergo's ergonomics is really good for um, holding your gun steady. So when you're ADS your arm stamina starts going down which is the little blue bar in the bottom left um, I might need that actually and I'll take that tape measure too because we'll need that for tool sets later um, yeah so when you when you have US, your arm stamina starts going down once it runs out your guy's arms turn into a wet noodle, basically. And, um... The higher your ergonomics of your gun, the slower that goes down when you're aiming down your sights. So you'll see in the bottom left now, that blue bar's going down. That's your arm stamina drain. Green one's your leg stamina. If anyone's wondering, if you've gotten, ooh, if you've gotten this far and you've not noticed, so when you sprint typically, but also crouching, going, 
uh, use his legs later. That thunder's really loud. I do hope you guys can hear me over the top of it. I know the airdrop is pretty loud as well. Yeah, so I can hear scabs down there. Hopefully it is just scavs, but uh, there could be some players as well. Ooh, found the airdrop guys. That is very loud. nervous that I was hearing scabs and they're not hearing anymore. That's a big backpack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm just gonna park myself here for a minute. Alright. So what we need to do... We need to get rid of this Mosin. But I'm not getting rid of the Mosin until I don't need it anymore. There's no sniper scav on that roof. Sniper scout for me, though. Is that him there? No. Okay, this is really annoying. See that sniper scab anywhere? Oh, yeah. 
yeah, sometimes the physics breaks in this version of the game. I've not seen it happen in the normal version of the game. But, um, yeah. So we don't need the Mosin anymore, so I'm gonna go and turf that, and I'm gonna pick up one of the guns in the supply drop, because they are all better than Mosin. And, um, yeah, really good guns, so... Oh my god. Yeah, a bit of recoil on that bad boy. I think he's dead though. <laughs> Might just confirm. He's dead. Alright. I'm gonna take his axe. It's worth a bit of money. Let's get rid of that Mosin. We might get it back on insurance, we might not. I don't know if I killed him actually. Nope. I hadn't. I have now. 133 we do need for gunsmith, so that's why it's gold. Here's my last mag. I actually forgot to bring extra bullets in, which is un unlike me. I'm normally pretty good for that sort of thing. Now, the AKMS we're going to take. Oh my God. Uh, actually, hang on. Hopefully, the scouts will just leave me alone for a second. need most of this stuff, but it's worth stuff, so it's coming along. Oh, I won't take that one. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go the long way around, just because I don't know how many more scabs are going to be there, so I don't want to risk just walking out there and getting beamed by a scab. We do actually have a long way to go to extract, and we've only got 20 minutes to do it. Nothing in the mag, which is a shame. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna loot too much. Uh, we've got enough stuff as it is. There's one more stuff I wanted to make. Wow. Technically, it's multiple stops, but I want to go across the river. So, what I might even do. Just because I'm hearing stuff going on my fucking head. I'm gonna unload one of these mags. And I'll load it into the other. See, there's still a scab over there. So we don't need to kill any more scabs. We've done our daily. We've got no more tasks for killing scabs on customers right now. So I'm just going to get myself 
basically to the extract. As I say, there's just a little bit more looting that I want to do before we get there. But, um, we'll get there first, and then we'll worry about it. There is this shack up here that has the med box in it. I'm sure I've said this before, but I'm determined to find a let X in there. Or at least something good. It's always like meds, as in like the craft material, and bandages. Pretty much the only things I ever find in there. One of these days, even if it's just like a meldonin or something, propodol, some sort of high tier med spawn. I don't know why that one box just it never spawns in. It's like garbage tier meds or nothing. I'm definitely carrying a lot of weight because I can't sprint very far at all. I do want to elaborate a little bit of the guns in that supply drop. The reason I grabbed the AKM MS, MSN, whatever it is, is because um, there is a quest line coming up called the Punisher, which is to get like 15, or it might even be 20 scabs on shoreline using an AK series of weapons. Um, AKM, sorry. So this AK-104 is basically the same. It's an AK, it uses AK mods, it uses the same ammo, but it's not part of the AKM series, so it wouldn't work. The AKM out of the supply drop will. Um, the shotgun that was in there is also an exceptional shotgun, but we can't get real good shotgun ammo until we level up Jaeger as a trader, uh, which we might do by level 15, but we might not. It's not always that easy. Jaeger in particular, his quest lines can be pretty tricky. Um, as we've seen, we've been trying to do, in fact, all of his tasks today. Survivalist path, you know, the unprotected but dangerous, and then the... Um, the uh, uh, Tarkov shooter with the bolt action, which we have done that now, so we can at least hand that in after this raid. Um, but yeah, they're, they're quite tricky. So that was the shotgun out. We do have an MP153 in the stash anyway. So they also take up a lot of space. They're very long weapons. So that was less of an incentive to pick it up. And the last one was a VPO which I think uses the 336 ammo, 366, whatever it is. And um, that's what the, the bolt action we took into Woods was using, the Echo, um, which you know, in a semi-automatic AK weapon, it's not bad, but it's just not good, you know what I mean? So, that was the reasoning behind really wanting, like we could have just extracted with the Mosin if we wanted to, but that's why I really wanted to pick up that AKM. I think you can buy them, again, uh, you get one of the traders to level 2, but relying on getting traders to level 2 is not that easy, like we've uh, made progress on stirrup as well, uh, getting PMC kills with pistols. There's every chance we might complete that before we get to level 15, and that gives you negative rep. Uh, so it gives you extra rep for Skia, who is the um, trader that gives you the task, but upon handing it in, it gives you negative rep for Therapist and also Prapper. Prapper's the one who uh, you would typically buy an AKM from, so again, by completing that task, it would actually make it more difficult to buy an AKM. So if you do get to that task, and I do want to try and get there as soon as possible, um, having an AKM ready to go would just make it so much easier, instead of having to either find one or, um, you know, complete enough tasks to level up the, the trader. Plus they're also pretty good weapons. I mean, you obviously saw before the recoil on this gun, it's quite disastrous. It's a bit more manageable with a, with a smaller scope. They're not really designed... I'm not 
not sure what that was. They're not really designed to be shot long range like that. Uh, at least not full auto. But I do like... Oh, am I getting shot at? Don't want to get shot at down here. There was definitely some sort of fight happening back up there. I heard... I think that was a flashbang we heard and then either a scav or a PMC. Probably a PMC actually, because there was no voice line. Uh, running. Um, I'm hoping none of them noticed I was here, because I'd rather not get shot at. I'm very low on ammo and my spare gun doesn't have any bullets. Listening out, I thought I heard someone wheezing like they were wounded. But maybe not. Each of these shacks. These two here don't usually have much. But as we know, this one over here has filing cabinets. And um, the reason I hold out for Ledex in that med box that I was talking about before is because I've actually found a Ledex in this med box here. So, you know, I'm sure it'll happen one day. That day is not today. Survival lighter. I'm not sure if I need one of those. I can't remember. Scav, so I'll come back and move him in a minute. I want to loot this jacket. And that crate there's usually got some good stuff in it too. Nails aren't that important. But we'll take them. Oops, wasn't meant to happen. I don't particularly like these optics, but they can be pretty popular, and um, goodness, sometimes worth quite a bit of money. That hasn't quite worked. I feel it. I feel like that ammo is quite valuable. So I'm actually going to take it. Um, I'm definitely hearing someone creeping around. Maybe it's just the rain. As it so often is. Okay. This is what we wanted. So 
It's not very likely this late in the raid near the extract, but that's the kind of ammo we're using. So if we do run into any trouble, we've at least got something to work with. Now I probably shouldn't keep looting because we are quite chockers, but I can't resist. I came here for a reason, and I will see that reason reason through. Oh, voodoo. That's an excellent optic. I'm going to take that. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to take the suppressor as well. I've already got one though. Let's get rid of those. them there, and then that can go in there. One of the reasons I wanted to come here is because I know there's a safe in here. This is the only key that I've got. Um, but yeah, also the only safe I really have access to and um, safes can give you flash drives so we also have that task what's on the flash drive so we check the campsite out near dorms again like we've done before um, I don't know why I've got that ammo there that's useless ammo um, probably can't take that vase which is a shame because it is worth quite a bit of money maybe I get rid of some of this stuff Oh dear. We are low on energy. Let's fix that. I was meant to eat that Slickers bar and I bloody threw it away. Like an idiot. Now I'm not going to take any of the monies because it's just such small amounts. Like that's garbage ammo and that alone is probably worth more than 722 rubles. So it's just not worth me picking up. It'll uh, occupy an entire slot. Um, pretty much everything else that I could pick up in the game would be worth more in a single slot. So that's why I didn't didn't take it. You might also notice that um, I put the money in that uh, slot of my pouch in the last raid, and after we died, it disappeared. So that's why I typically don't take money to raid. Uh, really intend to take the car. I did say that at the start of the series. That's why I wasn't taking the car. Um, yeah. That that's what I typically have been doing. We do need processes for a task down the line, but it's not for a very long time, so I'm not going to bother with it. That was actually pretty disappointing. All of those computers have got some good stuff in them. Now, over to Beatty's magic loot spawn. Is there a military cable there? No. Nah, there's nothing. There's not up. Anyway. Malabars we need for task. Could have just dropped that ammo too. Anyway, is that free? Last place we loot. This is one of my favourite shacks up here. This shack's awesome. It's got 
a duffel bag, which can spawn many rare items. It's got a set of filing cabinets, which can spawn many rare items, as well as like really useful like mechanical items that you use for your hideout upgrades and such. Um, a weapons box and two jackets. Like literally any item in the game just about could spawn in one of those containers, depending on what item you're looking for. Screws we need for our daily. Peas we're gonna eat because we're dying of starvation. I'm gonna drop the survival life for the tea plug because we do need tea plugs. Actually that. No, I can't bummer. I lied, there's one more thing I want to check. This bus can spawn a key. But, not there. Alright, so we've survived a raid today. That's probably the most important thing. So we got our uh, sniper kill with the Mosin. So we'll hand that one in. And um, yeah, the rest of those are just experience, I guess. Nearly level 11. Probably will be by the time we've uh, turned our tasks in. So that's good news. Exhaustion was, uh, was killing us. Absolutely killing us. Right, first things first. Jaeger's task. Uh, you're joking. That didn't count. Well, that's a bummer. Um, wow. All right. Well, we got our daily done. So that's 800 XP. It's not quite enough to level up, but anyway. That's a real kick in the balls. I'm pretty disappointed, actually. The whole point of that raid was to get the uh, Tarkov shooter task, and it didn't give it to us. I think that's about it. This has actually been quite a long one. Um, we died a lot, but um, we got out there with the with the survive at the end there. So a little bit of a, a bummer that the task didn't track, but it mustn't have been 40 meters. It's the only thing I can think of. Maybe it wasn't long enough. So unfortunately, not much of a win there, but we'll come back around next week. And uh, you know, that's Tarkov. Tarkov is a game that you do not win all the time. Um, we've been pretty lucky so far mostly winning um a few deaths early on but uh yeah this this has been a real one this is this is the tarkov experience so um hope you all still enjoyed it um thanks again for watching don't forget to like and uh comment if you could um chuck a subscribe on the channel hey invite your friends you know it might be good for a watch but, um thanks for tuning in um as always appreciate it but uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out, amigos. Mm -hmm.